Hello everyone, I still want to talk about like, welcome to yet another awesome video about cryptocurrency and this is in continuation with the crypto 101 uh, videos that I've been doing in order to educate and enlighten people so that they understand what cryptocurrency is and uh, today on Facebook I saw someone who wrote that the cryptocurrency is not a get-rich-quick scheme of course, he is 1,000% or 1 million percent accurate, okay? Cryptocurrency is not a get-rich-quick program, okay? It's not your Ponzi scheme, okay? So, regardless of how you want to make money in cryptocurrency, you have to understand that it's not a get-rich-quick scheme, okay? Yes, there are high-yielding interest platforms, okay but it also comes with risk and that also does not make it a get rich quick program okay but that's not what i'm here to talk about i'm here to talk about the three the three different words that people need to know in terms of making money in cryptocurrency and i'm doing this ahead of a video that i'm going to release about how to make money or ways to make money in tst Alright, so the first word we're going to learn today, or the meaning, to understand the meaning, is the word called investment. Okay, what is an investment? People throw investment up and down. Invest, invest, invest. But what really is an investment? So according to Investopedia, okay, an investment is an asset or an item acquired with the goal of generating income or appreciation. Okay, so let me just put TST inside here, okay? TST, by the way, is TBC Shopping Token, all right? So, an investment is an asset, okay? Okay, so when you buy TST with the goal or with the intention of making money from it, either through appreciation I get what I'm saying. Or through earning of interest, okay, that's an investment. So when you buy TST and you hold it and the price goes up, okay, when you that's an investment. When you buy TST and you when you invest in TST, okay, and you earn percentage every month, that's an investment that you've made. Okay, in an econ so let me continue from here. Okay, he said in an economic sense, an investment is the purchase of goods that are not consumed today. Okay, but are used in the future to create wealth. Okay, in finance, an investment is a monetary asset purchased with the idea that the asset will provide income in the future or will later be sold at a higher price. For a profit. Okay? So, when you buy a, a, a TST, which is a cryptocurrency, a market-based cryptocurrency, with intention of adding interest or a percentage every day from it, or every month from it, or when you, you buy the cryptocurrency with the aim that the price goes up tomorrow, you can sell it at a higher price, that's an investment. Okay? That's an investment. And remember... It's not talking about today. Alright? It's not talking about today. It's talking about investment. So most times people confuse themselves with the word trading and the word investing. Okay? Trading is probably today. And that's why most people go to the S10 to talk about day trading. So in my next explanation, okay? In my next explanation... I'm going to talk about trading. But before I go to talk about trading, let's read this important highlighted fact by Vestopodia. He said, an, an investment always concerns the outlay of some asset today in the hopes of a greater payoff in the future than what was originally put in. Okay, so that means if you put in ten dollars, you're expecting to get twenty dollars. If you invest ten dollars and being paid interest on a daily basis, it means that, or you are being paid interest on a monthly basis, it means that at the end of the contract duration, you will be having more than what you put in. So that's an investment. Okay, now let's move over to trading. All right, 
So with trading, there are so many words defining trading if you could go trading. Okay, there is buying and selling of goods and services. There is so many things, which is the underlying definition of even cryptocurrencies. Only that cryptocurrency is involved, of cryptocurrency is the product involved in terms of the buying and selling. But this explanation is what I love most because it says this. Cryptocurrency trading is the act of speculating on cryptocurrency price movement via a CFD trading account or buying and selling the underlying coins via an exchange. Okay, so let me explain. Let me explain this, okay? When you go to the market, when you go to the market, or let's say you go to CoinGecko and you're looking at and you're looking at uh, TBC shopping tokens performance, okay? You're looking at TBC shopping tokens performance. You look at the chart and you notice that okay, the chart goes up, you know, stabilizes, comes down, goes up, stabilizes, comes down, goes up again, stabilizes. And you know what I'm saying? So you notice that this is happening, okay? So which means that the volatility provides an opportunity for you to undergo to become trading, okay? And the reason why some people is called cryptocurrency, some people use the term day trading, is because you're actively watching the market. Like you have your notifications set up so that when the price, you know, dips, you are in there to buy in a lots of coins so that when it goes up, in price, okay, you're able to sell some or cash out on your profit, okay, or even sell all. All right, so that's cryptocurrency trading. But, you know, the difference between investing and cryptocurrency trading is that cryptocurrency trading, okay, is you're talking about now. Okay, you're watching the market live right now within a 24-hour space or an hour space, depending on the, on the market, um, depending on the the market you're using, okay? If you're using CoinGecko to monitor the price movement of TST, okay, you will be looking at, okay, the price is here, is here, is here, is here, it goes down, okay, 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 okay. You know, you that's what you'll be doing. But I'll do a separate trading to teach you guys how to trade cryptocurrency, you know, using a, 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 a price tracker like CoinGecko. Okay, or coin market cap, but I'm going to use coin gecko because coin gecko is more friendly to me, okay, compared to coin market cap. Okay, so your aim is to make profit on the spikes. I get what I'm saying. Your aim is to make profit on the spikes. So because Bitcoin is volatile, because Ether, cryptocurrency in general is volatile because of it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. The going up and going down is as a result of people buying and people selling. When people buy, the price goes up. When people sell, the price comes down. It's normal. Okay, and that's why people love cryptocurrency market because it shows you the true picture of what is happening. There is no corporation anywhere trying to manipulate that data. It's raw market data. I get what I'm saying. And you can use it to generate daily cash flow if you know what you're doing. Okay, I know some TB, I know some um, TST holders that have told this. Look, you have to be able to understand one the price movement. You also have to be patient enough to be able to know when to enter the market and when to leave the market if you want to be a day trader. Okay, or if you want to be a current cryptocurrency trader. I'm not talking about buying and selling on the online. I'm talking about buying and selling with intention to make profit. I get what I'm saying. Like some people can go and buy TST right now that the, uh, at this price, go out there, sell it at a higher price, come back again, buy again. That's also a way of trading. Only that they are not doing it on an, or they are not doing it on an exchange. They're doing it peer to peer, which I'm also going to do another video about it. Okay, so that is cryptocurrency trading. Now, having explained this, I believe you guys understand it's investment and trading. Now let's go to staking because staking is another okay <laughs> staking is another introduction into the cryptocurrency space as a way to make money okay now staking came came into being because of what is called the proof of stake um, protocol okay there used to be the the majority protocol that is being run was uh, proof of work which bitcoin was which is which was even the reason why bitcoin generated interest in the first place which is 
they are the proof of work when you are mining bitcoin they are giving you when you are mining bitcoin you are being given bitcoins in reward so it's just like you are solving computational math so the the, the whole this thing is you're solving a a complicated a complicated computational math okay and when you're solving the math well, each time you solve it correctly which is called mining you are being given some coins okay and the coins you're being given is bitcoin i get what i'm saying so that is how bitcoin even came into place and it became valuable because these guys are being rewarded with bitcoin they're not just given bitcoin they are being rewarded with bitcoin okay so they are solving complex computational maths and getting bitcoin in return that is proof of work now proof of stake is when you stake your cryptocurrency and you're being paid a particular percentage every some every month okay and the goal is you are being rewarded with more crypto so let me explain staking staking is the purchase of a crypto coin so when you purchase tst and you keep the tst or hold the tst in a cryptocurrency wallet for a particular period of time so in this case there is uh in tst we call it the tst pool wallet when you put the tst there okay for a particular period of time this is similar to a fixed deposit in fiat currency world which rewards you with a fixed interest rate at the end of a stipulated time in the contract so when you stake your tst okay every month like in tst we pay 20 percent interest in tst every month okay so for holding your coin okay in a, a pool wallet okay you are being rewarded for doing that okay you are being rewarded for doing that i don't want to go into the technical aspect of staking and that talks about proof of stake okay so but that is proof of stake protocol i don't want to go into the details but i just want to under make you guys understand how it came about in the case of bitcoin you are being rewarded for the work you are done you've done which is solving the complex computational math okay that it, uh, you get what i'm saying so but in proof of stake you are being rewarded for holding your coin okay you are being rewarded for sticking your coin in a wallet a holding wallet or a staking pool okay and you're being rewarded a percentage every month and at the end of the contract duration your coins are being returned to you so that is staking and these are the three ways you can make money in cryptocurrency investing as an investment in terms of trading day trading and in terms of staking all right so i took out my time to explain this to you guys so that you guys understand because i have videos that i'm going to roll out that's going to show you how to make money in tst okay and you find out that these ways i rolled out the, the what i explained to you is in line with what we're trying to do because tst is a market cryptocurrency we are not trying to change anything in terms of trying to create the new norm or create something that we know is an utopia most times utopia comes with baggage okay we are trying to show you the right way is done and you can do that in tst all right guys that's it for this video i see you guys next time thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day and most importantly like subscribe and share this video until i see you guys next time take care bye for now